Hello everyone and welcome back to Equilinox. And we are here in our world which is definitely beginning to thrive. We've got quite a few uh, places set up here where we've got uh, our ecosystem flourishing. We finally are figuring out what's wrong with the rosemary. It doesn't like being down low. So if we look at, or if we look here, you can see the altitude factor is poor. Whereas the rosemary up on the hill here has a good altitude factor. And uh, it doesn't like the biome quite as much. But the more it spreads, the more it grows. Now, does Heather prefer... Oh, Heather can grow in barren land, so we can actually plant some more Heather up here. And if we look at Spreads Woodland... Nope, Spreads Forest. <laughs> I always get those two mixed up. We can plant some Heather around here, and it won't be unhappy due to the land. And so that'll help the rosemary grow better, because uh, the biome will get... Uh, the biome will get better and uh, we'll, be, uh, we'll end up having a better environment for the rosemary to continue to grow and spread the woodland, or, or yeah, no, the forest biome. <laughs> Our woodland biome is actually what's over here. It's a slightly more bluish grass, and uh, we've been getting this part here ready to uh, try and uh, get some chickens over here. Now, the trouble with that is that this is technically a woodland biome, and chickens don't like trees in this game. So we gotta see, I'm gonna look at which of these many chickens is probably best. Um, I wanna look at disease resistance, just in case they end up being affected by the trees, which they might be. So I think we're gonna bring Onyx over here, and uh, we'll see if we can uh, hopefully, hopefully, hopefully the chickens will like this. So we need them to have, the requirements are, how are you, happy are you? Oh good, very happy. So the requirements here for the sparrow are biome, 30% woodland, and a diet of barley. And so hopefully, um, even if Onyx isn't able to do this, oh, we got this again. <laughs> we have that task on autocomplete because it's repeatable. So if we look here, we can see the, oh, we can actually claim this as well. Um, we've got quite a lot here. I guess we didn't claim that. Uh, I thought we had, but if we look at an apple every day, uh, every... 250 apples you produce, you get uh, 5,000 DP, so that's really good. But if we look here, uh, we might have to uh, we might have to wait until um, Onyx here has a baby. And oh, don't wander into the don't wander into the tree area. That's not going to be good for you. Um, oh, because you can see here it says the diet is wheat, and so. If we have a new baby born, then they should have a diet of barley. I believe this they can eat, if we look here, yeah, they can eat wheat or barley. And so we have all these barley plants around here. And that should be something that in time the chickens will start to eat over here. So even if Onyx isn't the one to do it, oh, here we go. Are we able to now diet grasses? So we might have to wait a little bit more because... And we might not ever be able to do that with uh, Onyx because Onyx has eaten both. Oh, the barley plants do disappear though. Um, no, I clicked the barley plant. That's why I can't do anything with that. Oh, we can do a sparrow. Okay, let's start breeding. <laughs> we'll see if we can do that real fast. We don't necessarily need a large population of chickens over here. In fact, a population of chickens might not be the best thing. So, let's see here. We have a little sparrow on the ground as well. Look how cute it is! Oh my goodness! Look at that tiny little baby sparrow. Oh, and it's hopping around. Okay, I want to see what biomes does this one like. Uh... Suitable biomes, grassland, forest, and woodland. So we can just plunk you right down over here. And uh, likes trees. So hopefully... I'm actually going to... Uh, I'm going to remove... What, what don't you like? There's disliked species. I'm going to remove this egg. And uh, this will bring, we'll bring Onyx back to the original area. Uh, just because... Or maybe we'll put... We've got some wheat over here, right? Yeah, we've got some wheat. We'll put you over here. Oh, there are still trees, though. We'll see. We'll see if um, if they have a problem with that over there, or if we get end up with a population of chickens there, too. Hopefully they don't start getting sick. If they get sick, we'll remove them. Where did our sparrow go? We had a sparrow here. Now I don't know where it went. Guys, I lost a bird, and it's a very tiny bird. <laughs> I'm never gonna find this sparrow. I'm actually never gonna find the sparrow. It didn't die, did it? Is that you? Nope, that's a buttercup. I'm looking for, oh, there, there we go. I was looking for movement. So we have this tiny little sparrow here. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at how cute. Okay, what is your name? You don't actually have a name. I guess, 
Maybe the sparrows are considered to be more ambient then, I guess? Uh, we can also get toucans or doves, but they're so expensive. And I think, what did we get? We got apple every day again. <laughs> We're gonna be earning that constantly and just racking up the DP. Is there a sparrow in the tree? Oh, you're flying! That's why I haven't been able to find you. Oh, look! They can perch in the trees, too! That's so cool! Oh, look at that! Right in the apple tree there. That's why we were having a hard time. Oh, and so I think what we need to do, I'm probably actually going to fast forward this because I want to see, oh man, I want to see if we'll end up with more sparrows. And if this sparrow ends up on the ground here, okay, can we transplant? We can. It costs a lot. Or you know what? Better yet, let's not even worry about transplanting. Let's just go over here and uh, I forget sometimes that we can just place animals straight out of this menu for actually a lot cheaper. Let's put down a sparrow right there. We can even put down two maybe. Well, no, I won't put down two because they're kind of expensive. But yeah, so we have a sparrow here and uh, should be pretty happy because, um, yeah, very, very happy because uh, the biome is pretty good. We've got lots of heather spreading around. Oh my goodness. Lots and lots of heather spreading around. I'm going to plant even more of this because it seems like it grows pretty well. I did just t use a ton of DP there, but it seems like it's growing pretty well in that woodland area, so that should be pretty good. Now, we finally got the sparrow. I want to look at what other tasks we have, though. So, we needed... Where was it? What was it we needed the sparrows for? We needed birds to make the trees happy, I think. These trees are now fairly happy. Yeah, the biome is causing a little bit of problem there. But uh, we needed more birds. And I think, what else do we need? We need, we need um, carrots here. So how do we get carrots? If we go here, I'm going to do a no requirement. Let's go to small plants, root vegetables. That should be carrots, right? Yep, evolves from wild mint. So we need to get the wild mint, which I think is this. Yes, so what is this like? It spreads grassland. What do we need to do with it? So to get carrot, we need rabbits. So to get rabbits, what do we need to do? I think rabbits actually come from guinea pigs in this game. Um, yep, from guinea pigs. So what are these guys like? Um... They like grassland, forest, and woodland. They like herbs and flowers. They eat fallen fruits, vegetables, nuts, fruit bushes, herbs, and grasses. So we want these guys to be in the grassland, I think, because that's how we'll get rabbits. So let's place, we'll place one of these guys down and just see, look at this. Oh my goodness, you guys. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, that is adorable. There's so many cute animals. All these small animals are, are really, really cute. Now, I have a... Oh, I'm a little worried now. Okay, that one auto-completed again. I'm a little worried that this uh, this guinea pig is going to eat everything, so we should probably plant down some more um, some more grass tufts here because we've got... We, need, we just need to make sure that we keep the population up because stuff is eating it. Um... So I'm going to plant down quite a bit more there. We'll put more down here. I'm not going to worry as much about the disease resistance as I have, or not disease resistance, about the edibility as I have been. Look at this guinea pig. His name is Jordan. That's adorable. Oh my goodness. Let's see how our, our sparrows are doing though, because hopefully we have more than one. So we've got one here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> There's a nest. This baby just came out of the nest. <gasps> Oh, that's adorable! So it was a baby sparrow when we put it down. <gasps> oh, you guys! <gasps> Look at this! Oh my goodness! Oh, I think I remember why we wanted the sparrows. Because we were having such a problem with this population here, the wobbly tree population, not the grass tuft. We don't care about grass tufts. Those are everywhere. But uh, yeah, they don't have... Oh, they do. They like... They like birds. Oh, we have, I guess the chickens do qualify, um, but the chickens don't like trees as much. Yeah, okay, I'm going to remove this population of chickens. There's too many of them. So let's, ugh, I don't like just removing them, but we're actually going to remove them because they're having problems with the trees. So what we'll do then is I'm going to speed up time a little bit. And, uh, oh, there is a chicken here still, because I don't want them getting sick, and I don't want them to be unhappy. Uh, the wobbly trees are having a bit of trouble here, but 
we should be able to, in just a little bit here, actually place down some sparrows over here, and that will make everybody happier once these trees have grown. Yeah, because this isn't... Ooh, 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 why are, why are you so unhappy? Okay, they really want a sparrow, I think. Because sparrows like trees, and so that's the kind of bird we want to place down here. This should make you a lot happier. Yes, and we got that task again. <laughs> we always are getting that one. Yes, and so that's making it a lot happier. What else do we have that spreads the grassland biome? Because... We want to make sure we do that. Okay, we can put down some more wild mint over here and uh, place some of that in. And we can place down, we already have daisies. I'll place down a few tulips. And that should make this area a nice grassland biome. Uh, it's actually 100% grassland in places, so that's exactly what we want to see. Uh, now let's come back over here, or I want to see, I want to see over here if we've got any, uh, any sparrows nesting yet, not in this area. Um, on this area with the forest. Do we have our sparrows nesting yet? Um, there was one. Oh, there's one. <gasps> yes! Look at this, you guys! <gasps> there's a nest in the apple tree! <gasps> That's amazing, you guys! Oh, is the sparrow gonna come back? Are you gonna come back and sit on your baby sparrow? I, I hope so. I, I don't know that you should be leaving the eggs unattended for this long. No, he's just flying around, I guess, or I guess probably she if she's laying eggs. <laughs> oh my goodness, though. Oh my goodness. Oh, here, are you coming back? Yes, look at this, you guys. Oh, and you laid another egg. <gasps> oh, oh, there's three. Two more, actually. Oh my goodness. That's so cool, you guys. So we're going to have lots and lots of sparrows by the looks of it. And we've got a sparrow over here. Hopefully we'll nest in the wobbly tree soon. I think if we look here, provides nesting spots for birds. So yes, they can nest in the wobbly trees once they're grown. So that's good. That's good. Look at all the sparrows over here, you guys. <gasps> that is so cool. All right. What else are we wanting to do here? So that keeps repeating. Uh, we want to get some wild boars. Oh yeah, we were trying to go for carrots, so let's check on our guinea pig population. Holy moly, you guys are, uh, wow, yeah, you guys are, are, are being busy. <laughs> Alright, so Spencer the guinea pig, what do we need to do to get a rabbit here? So we need ash trees. <gasps> Listen to their little sounds, you guys! Oh my goodness! They do actually sound like that, too. Um, I actually uh, pet sat for a friend at one point who had a guinea pig, and every morning she would do that. Uh, whenever whenever she heard me get up, she would do that because she knew she was going to get a treat. So they actually do do those little chirpy noises. <laughs> do any of you guys have guinea pigs? If you have a guinea pig, let me know because guinea pigs are pretty cool. Um, and also, the other thing I wanted to say is uh, I'm still kind of looking for names from this for this world. We've had a few suggestions, but I want to leave it open for a little while longer. So if you guys have suggestions for the world name, then uh, definitely let us know because uh, I'd be happy to try and incorporate some of those. So we need sycamore trees and ash trees, which I think actually... How do we get ash trees? Nope. So I think the sycamore trees are the ones... No, those are elms. Those are elms. These are sycamores. So why are you unhealthy? What species do you like? Um, herbs. Oh, we don't have any woodland herbs. Okay, we gotta change that. So lives in biome, woodland. And type... Oops, here we go. Type herbs. So, not... Yeah, woodland? Oh, the... Okay. So that spreads woodland, spreads forest. Okay, so oregano is what we want to put in. We also got the Apple a Day quest again, so we'll place down quite a bit of this oregano here because that'll help make this, um, oh, we ha we've had it in other places, haven't we? Because that should make the sycamore trees happier. Yes, much happier. There we go. So let's go ahead and we'll go with trees. We want to do woodland trees. And let's place down some more sycamore trees over here. Um, we don't actually have a lot of DP at the moment, but we do earn it fairly quickly here. If we just, uh, spend some time fast-forwarding, we can let it go up here. And we'll get our sycamore trees growing again, because I think, is it from sycamore that, uh, we can evolve ash? No, we can get nut trees from those. Elm. Elm gives you ash. So what do you need? You need the bottom to be 80% woodland. We should be able to do that. We just need to fast forward a little bit and, and stock up some more on the DP. But look at all the sparrows flying around. I see one nest at least. 
There might even be more than that, or there might not be just yet. But nevertheless, oh, and the tree that had the nest actually just died off, so hopefully they'll build another one. Oh, there's one right there! Yeah, there's one that I just couldn't see. So they do nest in the elm trees as well. Oh, and we could do this if we have enough DP. So if we wait just a little bit longer, we can actually use this tree to start working on getting an ash tree. So we are pretty uh, pretty close here. We just gotta wait a little bit longer. We've got so much DP per turn that I'm not too worried about it taking a while. Um, and in fact, we should be able to do it now. Yes, there we go. So I'll speed that up while the sparrows are nesting. This is so cool, you guys, honestly. Uh, this game is so phenomenally done. And uh, I know the developer took about three years to make it working by himself, and I know he had a lot of health problems in the, even in the process of this, so the fact that this game is here right now and that it you can just see the attention to detail he put into it, it's so amazing. And uh, he did a phenomenal job. What do we have here? Oh, this is, the tr this is the right tree. Okay. So I've placed this down. This is the right... Oh, no. Oh, no. Altitude factor. What's wrong? Grassland, forest, and woodland. Between 20 meters and 60 meters. Doesn't spread anything. I have a feeling this tree might die. <laughs> um, can we move it? We definitely can't move it. Okay. So, ash trees. What do we need for there to be, um... What do we need for there to be, for the guinea pigs to turn, to get the rabbits here? So we need sycamore and ash. So we definitely want them in this area. Now, how high is this? It's above the right altitude, because I think the ash tree... I think it said it needs above 20, yeah, between 20 and 60. So what we need to do is start spreading some woodland up here. And uh, I'll go off of here. Um, we have, I guess, technically the sycamore trees do that as well. But the oregano is probably the best choice because we can place it on the ground and then the trees will just kind of help cement this biome. I also do want to start putting trees down here, so we'll put an elm tree and we'll put a sycamore tree down here because we're not going to be putting chickens out there anymore. We just needed to get the sparrow there. So let's fast forward just a little bit again. We're actually almost done uh, with this episode here. I don't think we're going to get rabbits in this one, but we'll have to try for that next time. But hopefully we can at least establish a stable um, population of ash trees. This one's actually clinging on to dear life here. Uh, but it's not going to grow up. It's, it's just going to end up dying off, I think. We got an apple every day again. <laughs> that quest is just going to keep completing for basically as long as we are playing this game, I think. Um, so how are we doing biome-wise? We've got some pretty good biome here. And it is actually high enough up. So let's just go lives in biome woodland. And we should be able to take the ash tree. Is it on the other side? It is. All right, so where do we go? 77%. 77% is pretty good, so we'll place it right on this tile here. And it should be a lot happier? Yes. So it only has one of its liked species as well. What is it like? It likes large rocks, so we've got to put in some large rocks now. So I think this is a large rock? Yes. Let's place some of those down. We'll, we'll place a few of these. Well, okay, we can only do that many. <laughs> and now it's very happy. So we'll place some of those up on the heights here while this ash tree grows. And then what I think we need to do... Actually, maybe we do have time. Oh, oh my goodness, that quest just keeps completing. Um, if this will grow, it's growing very, very, very slowly. <laughs> what is this growth multiplier? Growth rate 116 and it's still growing this slowly. Wow. Um... Well, let's let's find something else to do, and then we'll probably do the rabbits next time. Look at this, though! We have another nest! Oh, that's so cool, you guys! <laughs> oh my goodness, do we have any nests out here? We do indeed! Look at that! Nest right in the wobbly tree! Wow! Oh, I love this game, you guys! I really, really love this game. Let's place down a little bit of rosemary here, I think. Just a little bit. Um, and that should help spread it. It likes to be up high, so it should be happier up here, I believe. What does it want to, where does it want to be? It wants to be between 15 and 55, so yeah, on those hills will be good. We could even place in some, uh, forest. Maybe, let's even go with spreads forest. We, we can place some tall trees up here. And, uh, I like how there can be so much variation, even, uh, even, uh, within the same biome. So, like, you have different plants that live at different altitudes, and so you have a difference between, like, a lowlands area versus a highlands area. It's just very different. 
That's oh it look it looks worse in the because it's the morning. Oh my goodness, we keep getting the reward for that. Um, it looks the the biome down here looks worse than it actually is because of the lighting, I think. And we've spent all of our DP again. <laughs> so, but so far this biome is looking pretty good too. The birds add so much life to it. Oh yeah, now that the lighting is uh, more full, you can see we actually have quite a quite a good amount of forest here, and um, the sheep are doing very very well. We've got a lot of uh, a lot of good things happening here, and uh, we have some very very lush biomes. We're going to start connecting it all together, but you can notice here that I haven't used all of our areas. So like, I, there's a lot of biomes we can use. And even if we look at uh, the list here, we have grassland, forest, riverbed, desert, snow, jungle, swamp, lush, woodland, and tropical. We've only seen like three of those biomes actually. Oh my gosh, that quest is just going to keep collecting forever, isn't it? But let's see how our ash tree is doing. This is it, right? It's at 57%. Yeah, I don't think we're going to get it done in this episode, but next time when we come back, pretty soon, we should be able to actually start working on the rabbits. We just got to get some guinea pigs in here. But for now, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode because it is about that time again. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.